Back here at home, we're focused on hurricane season, and this year storms are projected to get stronger quicker, which would tighten the timeline for parish and city leaders to issue evacuations. With this in mind, some adjustments have been made to assisted evacuation spots. Liam McNeil joins us now from one of those evacue spots in the French Quarter. Well, riding around the city of New Orleans, it's not too hard to find these. They're pretty big stick figures and they're called evacue zones. They were created after Hurricane Katrina to let people know about the designated spots available to be picked up if they need help getting out of the city in an event of a mandatory evacuation. But in recent years, that has changed. According to Rich Chapman, the deputy director of the New Orleans Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness, if an evacuation is called, all bus stops will be routed to the Smoothie King Center or the Convention Center where you will be taken out of the city. The reason we do a system like that is uh, we want to make sure that, that there's access around the entire city and it's so that there's no spots where you know, people have to travel long distances by foot to, to be picked up and then, and then make it to the, to the, um, uh, the actual uh, location to get out of town. There's a similar plan in Jefferson Parish. In JP, you can go to any bus stop too. If you're on the West Bank, you will be dropped off at the Alario Center. East Bank folks will end up at the Vineyard Church and then be driven out of the parish. Joseph Valiente, the director of emergency management for the parish, says that if there is a mandatory evacuation, a lot goes into determining if it will be issued. From there, things will happen pretty quickly. Bottom line, he says if you can leave, you should. Sheltering in place is never a best option for a hurricane. It's always better to evacuate, even if it's just the 24 hours to get out of harm's way from the initial impact and threats and then coming back 24 hours later. Now, mind you, these plans will only be implemented if there is a mandatory evacuation that is called. But again, because these storms rapidly intensify, there may not be enough time to get everyone out safely. With that in mind, there are plans in place in both Orleans and Jefferson Parish to take in folks who don't have enough time to get out safely. Once they do release those details, if needed, we'll be sure to let you know. Reporting in the French Quarter, Leah McNeil, WWL, Louisiana. Leah, thank you. If a mandatory evacuation is issued, it does take a few hours for the state to approve a city assisted evacuation. So if you do not need help evacuating, you're encouraged to leave immediately to try to cut down on traffic. All right.